Hi everyone, it's Crafty Mom with Three Sets of Twins. I hope you're going to enjoy our channel today and if you would subscribe, that would be wonderful. And hit the like button and the notification bell. And always remember to be kind to each other and have a great day. Well, here it is, Christmas in July. I'm just really using some of mine that I did before because I have packed up all my Christmas stuff because we are thinking about moving. So I can't even find them at the moment. So we just pulled some from the ones I did back in December 2020. So uh, we decided just to do a collaboration of a few of mine that we did. For those of you who have not seen them and are new subscribers, then you get to see how great these are. Okay, so it's just a towel from the Dollar Tree. And I'm gluing all the edges, except for one side where I'm going to put some polyfill in them. These are so cute and so pretty. They're from the Dollar Tree. They're a little thin, but I'm just making little pillows that you could sit out and decorate your home with. And they're really soft, so it's a really soft type material too, which I really like. But I think these turned out so cute. And I like the size of them too, because they're just small. But say like if you're taking a trip for like going to grandma's house, these pillows are perfect to put in the car, because they're not real big and bulky. And they're also very pretty. Also, if you're making a Christmas basket for somebody, and it's a big basket, stick one of these pillows in it. They make a cute little gift. Just make sure you line up the edges real good. Because you know, sometimes Dollar Tree towels are not completely square or rectangle. And I really like this Christmas one. I gave one to my girlfriend and she loved it. So I got this pillow at Walmart. I think it was probably $3, like $2.97. And you get a lot more in this than you would and something of like, I guess like Michael's or any of those other stores where you just get the polyfill or you'll see the Christmas blankets, the white ones at Christmas time. I think you pay four or five for them and you don't get as much. And I'm just gonna cut this open, pull all that pretty fiber, I can't even talk, fiber fill out and stuff these little pillows. This was a lot of fun, too. It really was. You should have fun when you're crafting. Except when you make a mistake and have to do it over, then it's not fun, is it? But these were fun. And they turned out really pretty. Like I said, they're soft. They're small. So they're really perfect. You can put them underneath the Christmas trees. Make it more festive. You can put one in your kid's room so they have some Christmas cheer in their room. I'm using this glove that I got off of Amazon. Um, I love it. It's like a heat, I guess a heat glove that holds up to a certain amount of heat so you don't really feel all that glue that you're touching with your fingers. And you're just gonna press the edges together. You know, stuff it in there. Now, I have seen some Christmas supplies popping up in Hobby Lobby and a few at the at-home store. They're not completely filled with stuff yet, but they have had maybe one or two aisles that they're starting to get their Christmas stuff in. See, I always thought they had it already out by July for crafters who do all the craft shows because we recently had a craft show here, and it was a Christmas in July craft show. And... I guess you just have to hang on to your supplies and have everything ready for July. I'm sure the after Christmas sales help too for crafters. I think Michael's does a big craft bag, which is pretty cool. It's like a grab bag, I think for $5 at the end of every season and you get so many cool things. 
There it is. See the little bit of a sparkle on the Christmas tree? I think this is adorable. It is. Look how cute that is. It is adorable. And soft and pretty. And the next thing I'm using one of their Christmas boards with the red truck. And I got some Christmas paper. It's a roll, you can see it there on the side. It's just the roll that you wrap your gifts with. And I'm gonna use my handy dandy glue stick, which I love because I don't get to burn my fingers. Thank goodness. And this fit perfectly. Don't you love those glue sticks? Oh my gosh, they are so easy to use. Fast, quick, easy, no burns on your fingers. And they smooth out really well. Sometimes if you use the glue stick, you'll have some little, like, tiny bubbles, you know. Okay, I have this cute little ornament of a house. And I'm just going to place it on my board. And I have a Christmas tree that came off of another project that I haven't used yet. And I'm going to glue these with my glue stick too. Okay, I have some greenery that I'm going to make some with the little pine cone. I'm going to twist it around and put it together for the top of this picture or board. And I'm using my glue gun. I'm going to glue it to the board. I think Christmas time is such a fun time to make crafts. Because everything's so pretty and cheerful and red and green and glitter. It's such a fun time to make crafts. It is. You get so many cute ideas. All right, I took this little frame apart. And... It's, I got some scrapbook paper and I am going to measure it. I'm going to score it off with a pencil and then cut it with my scissors. And use my handy dandy glue stick. And by the way, you can get these like after school supplies in probably September because they put them all on sale. So you could pick up a bunch. It's a good time to pick them up. And I'm just going to lay it across the little triangle. I'm putting it back in its frame. I'm going to cut off a little piece of this branch. And I have this little piece of wood that I am going to put some wood glue and some glue stick glue and try to make a little Christmas tree. And there it is. Is that ever cute? Quick and easy, guys. Fun projects for Christmas. 
See, the next one I have covered a board with a scarf from Dollar Tree. It was a red and white check scarf at Christmas time that you can get. And I cut it apart and I put it on this piece of board that I already had. And now I'm taking an ornament, gluing the little truck down, and I'm going to also glue some greenery around this little board. So I'm just gluing down the greenery, making sure that it doesn't come off. I'm using my paintbrush to, look how cute that is. Cute. Okay, my next, I painted this little, I guess it's like a little cardboard inspirational sign that you get from Dollar Tree and I painted it green. I flipped it upside down. So it's got like a little, um, I guess like a pocket or hole in it. And I've got some glue sticks, not glue sticks, but wooden sticks that I've glued together. And I'm gluing them into the box, which again I said is upside down. I have these cute little deer that I got. I added some, I think these are the ones I added some fur around their necks. They were just in a package. And then I have this little random feed bag that I got from Dollar General. It's actually an ornament for a Christmas tree and I pulled the little piece off so that it's now just a little bag. And I'm gonna stuff that into that little box with, along with the deer. I've got some moss from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna fill that into the little holes in the box so you can't see the wooden pieces because the wooden pieces sort of kept it, kept the deer in. I had little tags that I used for gifts and I put one around the little deer. I have some Merry Christmas ribbon that I cut and I'm going to glue it to the front of the box. I think this is so cute. I do. Look how sweet that is. The little tag is a little tag I got at Walmart where you get four or five little tags. I love how that turned out. All right, I got a piece of black foam board from Dollar Tree and I cut it small and I made all these little Christmas trees and I made this one. This is one of those little trays you get at Dollar Tree. I cut them all, cut that one and now I'm gluing them back to the wood pieces that you get at Dollar Tree at Christmas time. And I'm going to place them and glue them to this blackboard. Now I just took those wooden pieces, you know, painted one, painted one white, took the metal one, cut it out, used that as a guide, and cut it out of that little metal tray that you get at Dollar Tree. That is in the cooking department. And I'm gluing that one right in the middle.
And then I, of course, dropped it. <laughs> Picked it up real quick so the glue wouldn't get on there. Pressed it down. Making sure it sticks real good, so I'm just going to pick up the glue corners and just press it on so that it doesn't come up. I'm adding more little trees that I made. It's like my little tree collection on a board. And this was fun too. This was a fun project. This is something you get your kids to help you with. They can cut out the trees. Like I said, you get the wooden pieces at Dollar Tree at Christmas time. I think the little ones come in a pack like maybe two or three for a dollar. Big ones, I think they're a dollar. I'm using little stars to cover up the little holes at the top. I think this turned out so cute. Okay, I also had this, I'm not sure what they call these long tags, but I'm pulling it off of, it's like decals. So I'm pulling them off and I'm gonna put them on the board. That's what I like about Dollar Tree. They make it easy for you. Don't even have to use a Cricut. You can just pull these off, put them on your board. There's my little truck and my little deer. And there's my little Christmas trees. They turned out so cute. Oh, by the way, the deer are from Dollar General. And I did cut some little fur pieces, see, the faux fur. And I wrapped it around their neck. So I just cut out a little strip. Gave them some fur. And you wrap the fur around the neck of the deer to measure out the size that you would need and then you cut it. And then you're gonna glue it. You can make it fuzzier too if you want. You're just pulling some of the fur out and it makes it fuzzier. I thought this was a great idea for the for the deer. It just made them stand out more. And it was quick and easy. That same fur I used for some of your Christmas known gnomes. And then you're just gonna glue onto the little deer on the back of them.
Isn't he cute? I think next year I might try to cover a deer with all fur. <laughs> all right, this snowflake is from Dollar Tree. It's the really big ones. I painted it white. I think I spray painted that one before it got real cold. Oh, maybe I used white chalkboard paint. I have this really cute ribbon from Hobby Lobby. I love Hobby Lobby's ribbons, especially the ones that, not, not the glossy ribbons or the glitter ribbons, but the rope ribbons are so unique because they have just different little things on them. They have little beads and sometimes they have little tiny Christmas trees and they do different colors. They have some cute ones. I bought some this summer, which I haven't used yet. They are so cute. I'm hoping to get to use them this week. Hopefully, we will see. It's been a little busy this summer. I mean, well, actually, it's been a lot busy this summer. We've been sort of sorting through our basement, purging a lot, having to sell school books. It's been a lot of work. Hand glue in this beautiful, cute ribbon to the back of the snowflake. Yeah, you have, you have to sort of tie off the ribbon each time because the beads will fall off. But it's worth it because they're just very unique ribbons. And I got this cute little snowman from Dollar General. He's already ready to go. Don't have to do much with him. And I'm going to glue him down. Trying to get the beads so they don't aren't behind him. Tack the little ribbon down again just to keep it straight so it doesn't move around a lot. And now I'm going to glue the cute little snowman to this cute little snowflake. And there's my ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby. It's the black and white check. It was regular $7.99. I got it for half price. So it was about $4. And I'm just making a bow. I'm not a bow maker. I just whip them around, tie it in the middle, fluff them out. And they always look good. So simple, easy. I always see those people with those bow makers, which I think one day I'll buy one. Um, and see how they work because they make those really big bows. So I tied the ribbon together with just a twist tie that you get from your breads, <laughs> I just save everything. And then you're just gonna twist and pull it apart. You sort of pull it apart and twist it. Pull it apart, twist it. Yeah, because it's got the wire in the ribbon. So it makes it stand up really pretty. I'm going to glue the bow down over that little hole that you see in the snowflake. And then I got this cute little snow bunny. It's actually a snowman, actually. And I'm going to glue that right in the middle of my bow. 
Isn't it cute? I love the way this turned out. I'm gonna stick some foiler, foliage. God, I can't even talk tonight, can I? <laughs> it's late, it's nighttime. <laughs> I'm always tired at night. So I'm just gonna put some little green leaves underneath the bow just to make it more Christmassy. And there it is again, cutting it off, gluing it on. I have a glue pot somewhere in my basement I need to find because you could just dip your glue in it. It's really old. I don't know if it still works, but look how cute that is. Now we have a Let It Snow sign, which is from the Dollar Tree, and I painted that. And I'm going to put this ornament that I got from the Dollar Tree. It's like a blue glitzy. I think it's got like glitter on it. And I'm going to glue it right over top of that little snowflake. Yeah, I don't remember where I got the ribbon from. I'm thinking maybe Michael's after Christmas last year or something. So I was trying to use it because it was silver and it's very pretty. I'm going to put a piece of raffia through the back of it to hang it. And there it is, let it snow. Here's my little snowman. I think these turned out so cute. And there's my little deer with his little fur. Thank you for watching. If you would subscribe, I would love it. Absolutely love it, love it, love it. Share with your family and friends. Please hit the like button because that helps my channel. And also the notification bell to find out when I'm loading up some more videos for you guys. Just be kind to each other. I hope you're having a great day. Thank you for watching.